Good morning, everyone. So this is our marketing moment. As your marketing project's been circling the drain for a while, are you confusing strategy with tactics? So today on 10 at 10, we're going to talk about building a marketing team, what that looks like and what the process looks like. So let's go. Good morning, everyone. I uh, hope you guys could have heard me before. I, hopefully there was no uh, technical issues <laughs> ahead of schedule. This is Paula Madison Sierra, Power Marketing SF and the host of 10 at 10. Um, whenever I approach this topic, it reminds me of a line from Legally Blonde. And, you know, I may mess up the line a little bit here, but uh, she says something like, of course, I got into Harvard, silly, like it's hard, you know, and so talking about marketing strategy versus tactics reminds me a lot of that. Sadly, I think a lot of business folks or people running their own book of business who has to execute marketing. Sometimes we're rushing to execute and marketing activities versus really taking the time to look at what makes sense for us and the direction that we're going in instead of just brainstorming a ton of ideas so let's talk let's face that there are there are a ton of uh, co content creators on youtube university these guys and women are offering great information as to how to get on Facebook, how to make it more effective, Instagram, Pinterest, how to make your website more effective. What is SEO? How to execute SEO? What's backlinks? How to execute that? There are a ton of information out there and on and on. What a wonderful gift to have that. I say, if it's, if it's there, you need to execute on your own. I say, go and do it. Why not? However, let's talk about direction here. So let's pivot. Let's change direction here and talk about your direction. And what does that mean to you, your brand, your personal image, your business's image, and, and what you're trying to accomplish? So not only do we want to discuss goals so that's an obvious but we also want to really specifically look at how you want to be presented to the world i heard a great quote this morning i was watching super soul sunday oprah i think it was from 2015 by carolyn mace um she's an intuitive which i love that title she says that people suffer when they chase um, a life that does not belong to them. So I guess it simply means don't be a copy of someone. Don't copy someone else's marketing because they might be trying to achieve a goal <clears throat> that's not yours. And of course, you end up in a ditch because of it going in the wrong direction. For example, are there charities and causes that you support that let me I had to stop there for a little extra because I just realized I was down below the entire time. I got so into this topic. This is a big one for me. So forgive me if I'm a little distracted today. But what's really important to you, if you had a marketing strategist, they would sit down with you and ask you, not about tactics, not about Facebook, not about your website. They would first ask you what matters to you. How do you want to present your business? So um, an example of that is what are the charities you support? Are you a closet environmentalist at heart? Um, are you all about education? Um, uh, you know, are there, um, is there things that you volunteer for right now? Do you just simply have a stance in the world that you want to make sure that that is trickled into how you run your business as well? 
So how does this become marketing strategy and how do you end up choosing a, a team to execute that? Great question. I'm glad you asked. Step one is the obvious. Develop your, and this is what I'm calling your marketing mission statement. Actually, let's roll back on that. Let's rename that and call it develop your business mission statement. What's your credo? What's your driving force of how you want to position your business? This will become the basis for your brand image, your business's brand image. Step two, what are your marketing goals? Now that we've discussed the, the top section, you know, we still, there's still commerce that needs to be part of this. We need, need to still make money. We still need to bring new clients in, support existing clients. We need to make money. Um, so what are your goals? If you guys have watched me for a while, you know that I've said this in the study of marketing, really there are only four major goals that a business, uh, any marketing team has. And of course, every other goal kind of trickle from these four. Those four are to make money, obvious, to maintain the clients that you already have, to get new clients in and maintain those, and fourthly, to present the brand, to develop the brand. What are your, your personal goals? And some of them, like I said, may come from this, uh, these umbrellas that I just gave you. Step three. Take a moment and now that we've, you've gone through one and two, who really is the best fit for your products and matches the products that you actually have some real genius in? We, you know, after going through your information, you may see that there are certain services that you've been offering for a long time that you probably shouldn't be offering anymore. So, um, that would be part of your strategy too, having that deep discussion, your target audience, developing that and really having a conversation about who is best for you and your operational know-how currently, what's best for them and how to best communicate this message to them in a way that's comfortable for them. Again, notice I'm talking about them and not on uh, you know, a bunch of folks from the office sitting down and really looking through their filters at what they think they need. But by having discussion one and two, it really becomes clear. It's like, okay, well, this is our mission. This is our goal. And hey, this is our target audience. Step three. Now, number step four is to develop tactic that tactics that will meld those comfortably. Again, Notice I've taken you out of the, the, the process altogether. So instead of you speaking your language um, about what you think the client may need, we're going completely with the numbers and, um, and the discussion that you're having based on the experience that you've had with your clients. And of course, melding it with how you'd like to represent yourself in a meeting with these clients. Put it this way. You want to present yourself a certain way. You dress a certain way, right? To go to a meeting, you may be in that industry where you're wearing a suit. You don't show up in shorts, do you? You're presenting yourself in a certain way. So when they see you digitally, it's like, okay, well, this is a company that I can trust because they're presented in a way that makes sense for my brain to understand based on just everything that I've seen out there. Okay. If you've taken the time to do step uh, one through three, <clears throat> it becomes really quite clear, again, instead of you having to make anything up or copying someone else, which activities you should actually be executing and frankly, what you should not be wasting any money on. Um, taking steps one through three also visually educates you. That's what a marketer would see. That's what marketing folks would see. It would digitally tell us, visually tell us from looking at something that's not a right choice because that doesn't communicate the message that you want to share. 
you don't want you don't want to have a big mission statement like i want to uh, present my business to what America actually looks like and service those people within my category and my uh, my target audience. And then have a website where there's only one racial group on your website and not having a mixture. That would be what a marketer would see visually that that may be missing and we need to go and curate some photos as an example. Again, we're not just looking at the brand image only and the brand marketing only. The brand marketing by itself is, is, needs more support. The direct marketing by itself where you're going and getting sales and uh, advertising on Facebook or doing AdWords or advertising on an online magazine where you're doing direct marketing, they actually need each other to support and make sense of the, the message that you're trying to share. And then finally, um, how you build your marketing team, okay? It is now very obvious if you've gone through these steps that I've offered you, who should be your marketing vendor because it will clarify what you actually need. But most importantly, it will educate your vendors, give them some guidance as to the direction that the business would like to go in and the image that they'd like to present. So that is very important for them because so often I see marketing um, vendors who are hired and you know, you'll know you hear them saying some version of, they just basically shoved me into a dark room, locked the door and said, come up with our marketing plan and then we'll let you out and pay you. They need guidance as well. So, um, so I'd say let's get started um, looking through different lenses at how we see our marketing. And therefore, again, if you've done these steps, it's going to educate you on how to effectively choose a team and frankly, set them up for success so that they can do the right thing for your business and utilize your dollars well. Well, I hope that marketing moment has helped you today. Um, please reach out to me if you are in need of marketing. Um, my continued mission statement is to not only share great information from everyday experts and business owners, but also to offer you some expertise from my side as well on the marketing end in order to help to up-level you. I will offer these marketing tips um, you know, every now and again, as these great ideas kind of hit me or questions, really, they hit me from clients that I'd like to share with you, because I know if my clients are asking, you're probably having those questions as well. So 10 to 10 airs every Thursday at 10 a.m. or oh boy, <laughs> live on LinkedIn. Thank you so much, guests, for continuing to support me. Um, and as always, have an amazing day and keep moving forward. Take care, everyone. Bye.